see the shoes? See the left? How about here? You see this? I hate it. I hate it that after a while, my all my shoes are ruined, obviously, from riding. So I was told that uh, I have there's a solution for that. And uh, I'm going to go install it right now. So apparently it's because of this rubber, rubber uh, shifting peg. And uh, one of the guys said uh, he has a perfect solution for that is uh, to change that up to, let me show you what I got right here in my pocket. This, let me take it out of the, oh, this is a billet aluminum shifter peg uh, knob or whatever you want to call it stud and um he recommended one by thrash and supply i looked at it and uh it looked really nice but it was like 50 dollars. i don't know a lot of money for a piece of a uh, billet aluminum so i found this on amazon i'll have a link down uh, below where you can pick it up Eight dollars can go wrong. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's gonna be eight dollars of a trial to see. Uh, it looks better, let's put it that way, better than the rubber. And even if it doesn't stop the scarring and marring and ruining my boots and uh, sneakers, at least I'll get, I'll get a nice finish over here. So let's uh, just put it in. Easy off with the six millimeter. Allen wrench. This goes on. Obviously, it's uh, Loctite worthy, so let's put Loctite on it and install it right here. There you go, some blue Loctite on it. There you go. Thank you. That's Pico's friend right there, Gio. Gio, come over here. That's Pico's friend right there. So it's tight. So much noise. No packages for me today. Nothing for me. Hey, Gio. Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. Yes. Yes. This is our next, our new movie star. Pico no longer. Now it's Gio. See you later. Okay, that should do. Now, supposedly this will solve my problem. Okay, a lot of time will tell. I'll give you an update. See if it's uh, any better. Anyway, it looks much better. $8, I think it's absolutely worth it. Anyway, to the next topic. Look at this tree near my house. It's springtime and it's beautiful. I was away for almost two weeks. I've been to England with my daughter, then in Amsterdam for my simulator training. I'm gonna have like a, a very cool video coming out. But when I got home, this was waiting for me. Let me show you. Thanks to Blockhead, I mean, he doesn't know. He influenced me as an influencer. He's an influencer and he influenced me. I saw his video when I was uh, when I was away and I just, the video with the, the Sawiki pipe being installed on Godzilla or the giveaway bike, I'm not sure. And I just, I, that was so wicked. And the numbers that came out of that dyno run, I said, you know what? After choosing all, you know, between all the different pipes that uh, the video that I did of a while ago, I canceled my order and uh, picked this up within two days after I placed the order. My wife said there was a huge box waiting in, in the room. So I'm gonna unpack it now and I'm gonna install it uh, this weekend uh, when we do the cam, cam job. So pretty cool, look at that. Take it out to the sun. 
Wow, look at these colors. Look at these colors. Step up from one and a half, I think, to one and three quarters. That's one piece. Let's set it up over here. That's pretty cool. What's that? Oh, that's the rear. Look at that stainless steel. Very nice. Dude, <laughs> look at the welds. I love the color. That's that's the beauty of this of this pipe as well. <laughs> that's very cool. Okay, that's the tool for the springs. Where did I put the knife, Pico? Where there is. Okay, that's the bracket for the ST. The ST bracket so I can uh, mount my, I think this is the bracket for the ST, yeah. To mount the bag. And there you go, the gasket, all the hardware. Is there a guarantee or they're not little instructions? So 2018 Softail installation instructions. In. Okay, this all goes back in. Now let's see what this is. Okay, so that is the bracket. That I have no clue what that is. I'll figure it out later on, but that is the ST bracket because this I recognize. And a little sticker. And that is the pipe itself, the muffler. <laughs> nice. Look at the quality. Look at the look at the welds. Sweaky speed. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> Together. I'm missing the springs. The springs are probably in one of the. I got the long. Pico's like, what's going on? Right, Pico? That's the pipe, Pico. So that is the mock up of the Sawiki Speed. I took the long. I have to see it on the bike. It doesn't look long, but I guess it is the long. I'm going to have the install this weekend. And it's gonna be really, really cool. I'm gonna take it over to, to Mike's from, uh, from Poor Custom Cycles right now. We have all the parts set up over there and I bring the bike this weekend. The whole gang is gonna be ready for the install. Looks pretty cool. Very cool, got all the parts over here. I was surprised with all the, the exhaust, uh, the pipe companies. Whenever I'm looking for a pipe to be shipped, it's like, uh, like I said before already, the longest one was 24 weeks uh, delay. Back order, that was HPI. I had Thunderheader that was like uh, six to eight weeks. And this was like the next day was out already in the mail, so. Really excited for this build. I dropped the stud, the package, the toy, the gift package over there <laughs> with the Sawiki and the uh, 
love jugs that we're gonna put on. And the Dino Jet tuner. So I'm uh, gonna head back home and edit this video and post it. That's Glenn's bike. Right there, look at that King. He's having some work done on it. You'll see uh, later on. Some nice bikes over here. That's a nice heritage right there. You know Mad Max. Nice little Indian. Chewy today. Yes, it is. That's a nice no? bike. It is. It, sure. it is. <laughs> That's a nice old road king. Okay, 5,466 miles. He got it.